Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. You may be surprised to find out there are actually three different ways to define asses and bases. The Arrhenius, Bronsted-Lowry, and Lewis definitions. For comparison's sake, we are just going to focus on symbolizing acids, but know that bases always do the inverse of what the acid does. Speaking of blown away, the Dalton dad seems to have lost his proton hat. At least he hasn't lost his high fashion R brand blazer. He should remind you that the Arrhenius acids separate or dissociate in water and increase the concentration of hydrogen ions. On the other hand, Arrhenius bases separate and increase the concentration of hydroxide ions in water. Note that you can only use this definition in aqueous solutions. It looks like Mr. Dalton is in luck, because today the Bronsted-Lowry hat stand is donating proton hats, just like Bronsted-Lowry acids give away hydrogen ions to other molecules. Bronsted-Lowry bases take hydrogen ions from other molecules. Since this definition is more general than Arrhenius acids, it can be used for molecules in any medium. Last but not least, the Lewis definition describes a molecule's propensity for accepting or donating electrons rather than protons. Lewis acids accept electron pairs, while Lewis bases donate them. That's why the talented Lewis Dalton is juggling some electron balls that it looks like he accepted from someone else. Now, for all three of these definitions, whether a molecule is defined as an acid or a base depends on what it does in a specific reaction. A molecule could act as a base sometimes and an acid other times. 